Hey everybody, my name is Kendall and welcome back for another video of Mythic Ocean. We're gonna continue this series, boys. Having a lot of fun playing this game for you, obviously. Last video, we went ahead and talked with uh, another brand new god, which is this one right here. We got some new creatures we can interact with in Coral Reef, which is over here, I believe, right? I think it's that direction. Now we can, we gotta interact with a bunch of different people. We gotta um, ask any of these two between these two who wants to help out this one with the uh with uh the scientific projects first thing we're gonna do though before that we're gonna go down that big scary uh hole right here and uh we're gonna try and see if we can find what's down there which is gonna be super scary boys i'm going down that big hole i'm scared don't know if i really want to do that but uh, we're about to find out, boys. This is going to be dark real soon. Real soon, boys. So let's go down and see if we can go there. All right, let's go. Now, obviously, can't go there. Can I go deep, down deep like that? Maybe a portal that I could go through or something? I'm not too sure, boys. Let me actually... Do I have to go through... I think I'm just supposed to go through that direction. There's a lot of... Uh, people I can interact with. Oh, wait, there it is. There it is, boys. There's one of the portals right here. We're going through. There it is. That's what I was trying to find is a portal. I found one, though. And uh, there it is. I, I found it right away. So, arrow 3, section 3. There we go. Apprehension. Fear has become commonplace among the mortals. Even the most loyal of them sometimes worry they'll be spirited away uh, from uh, for a minor infraction. I've asked the creator... Uh, whether this is a good and healthy way to live. The response is always, this is the only way. Okay. How many does that give me, though? Now I've got uh, another one. I think that's 8 out of 10, right? That's probably... That's 3 out of 3 for this region. And that's probably 8 out of 10 for, uh, for the entire thing that I need. Let me talk to these guys. Hey, you might be thinking you could mess uh, with us, huh? If I were you, which I'm not, I wouldn't do that. Just a friendly tip. Okay. And what about you? Don't touch us. Nothing personal, pal. We say it to everyone. Uh, but seriously, stay back. Okay, so yeah, these are the little things you can eat, right? You uh, you can eat them. I saw them in um, a lot of cooking shows and stuff like that. Uh, you can eat those. You break them in half and stuff. You gotta watch out because it's pointless. Poisonous eels and stuff. Uh, uh, needles and stuff. So, you. Yeah, you. Can't you see why those uh, big pokey spines? We got those big pokey spines? You seem pretty sharp. I'll let you figure out the rest. Yeah. Okay, what about you? Hey there. Sorry if my friends are a bit... Uh, I've been a bit rude. We can't run away from, uh, from things that want to eat us. All we can do is try to scare them off. So, get my buddies a break if you don't mind. We've interacted with 8 out of 10. The, uh, the children are right there. We're gonna talk to them in a second. There's somebody... Uh, there's more st shrimps I can talk to. I wonder what she's thinking. She probably has no idea what this means to me. Okay. What about uh, the other one? Will this really last forever? Is there any point if it, is, it doesn't? What I don't know. Okay, I wasn't supposed to really interact with them then. Anybody else that uh, are, is new? But what about you? You're down you're down there now. Have you seen that huge shadow behind me? I don't know what's casting it, but it scares me right out of my shell. What shadow? Oh this? Oh <laughs> that's the sun doing that, my guy. What the hell? This guy. Okay, there we go. Oh, it's this guy. Okay. It's this guy casting the shadow. Okay, that's kind of funny. Uh, did we just meet? Have we always known each other? Whoa, when you're connected to the whole world, it's like everything's happening at, uh, at, all wa at once. These guys are all weird, boys. So wear me out. Alright, so there's one more person we haven't talked to. Oh, uh, there it is. We gotta t uh, interact with uh, the turtles. We can finally interact with them. Nice. Everyone acts like they're all grown up, but really, we're all just children. Okay, whatever you say. All right, so we've interacted with everyone. Let's finally talk to the ch uh, children. Hey, sometimes we've come here when we feel uh, we're feeling lonely. 
doesn't always help though. It's hard not to think about the past even when you don't want to. Come on, let's go. All right, do you mean uh, do you remember Lydia? Uh, she's looking for help. Oh uh, yeah, we know her. We've been to her lab a couple of times. Yes, she's doing some experiments to uh, new experiments, huh? Yeah, I thought you two would uh, would be good candidates to help her out. This isn't the kind of thing we normally in, uh, we're normally into. Alilia asked you for you two by name. Actually, I was impressed. Really? That's cool. Well, so what does she want uh, us to do? Well, she uh, wants you to help her analyze some some samples of materials and whatnot. Doesn't sound that doesn't sound like fun uh, to me. Yeah, it's gonna be a bunch of boring stuff. Alilia doesn't want to do herself, isn't it? Aria told me to uh, you owe her some favors. That's why she wants you to your help. No way. Think about all the fun equipment in the lab you'll get to learn about. Yeah, exactly. I'll I'll, uh, I'll try and uh, I'm not going to talk about the fact that it's a favor and stuff. Sure, there's cool stuff, but it's not like we'll get to uh, to use any of it. Yeah, she wouldn't let us touch anything last time. It was really lame. Well, uh, uh, all right. Don't worry about it. Want to talk? Okay. No, you know what? She told me you owe her some favors. Time to pay up. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I did not mean to re uh, do that. Hold on. Uh, oh, that's why she you're here, huh? Makes sense. I should have guessed you were on Elia's side the whole time. You don't care about what we want. You just want to make sure that uh, we do what she says. Okay. Look, it's not like that. I'm just. Tr I'm not trying to take sides. But if you did promise her your help, you should follow her through, right? Fine, a deal's a deal, I guess. We'll go see Alidia in the lab sometime soon. Sounds good. All right, good. All right, so good, boys. So they're gonna go help her out, which is exactly what we wanted. So Alidia's got what she wanted. I'm actually gonna go talk to Larma now um, and see if he or uh, talk to the the Larma and see if he's gonna be able to help us out or if there's anything that uh, I can do with him. Oh, look at you. Oh, yeah, that's right. Because I forgot. I told her she could come in here and study stuff. Uh, he's probably scared to death, though. Yeah, he's probably... Probably doesn't like that. Uh, what's up, though? This place is incredible. The life forms here are like nothing else in the ocean. I can't wait to study these samples back at the lab. Okay. And what about you, little buddy? Do you like her? Uh, hey, what's wrong? This one, missed familiar one. I'm here now. Did something happen? Strange new one is in cave. New one brought the device. Device using one came here to fake take things. Device using one is taking things now. But the device using one is a friend of mine. She's not here to hurt anyone. Familiar one. Trusts the vice using one? Yeah, I do. This one lacks familiar one certainty. After taking things, the vice using one approached this one. The vice using one used strange machine. This one could not move. This one was not asked first. This one had very great fear. Many lights appeared, moved back and forth. This one could not struggle, could not leave. Then over. I think she just canned you, buddy. I think that's just uh, all that happened. This one could not move again, so went inside pod. I'm so sorry that happened. Did you say anything to the device using one? No, nothing to say. Too much fear. Well, uh, she made a mistake. She didn't mean any harm, and you don't have to worry. I'll, ha I'll talk to the device one about this and make sure he doesn't uh, it doesn't happen again. I think you should tell the device one how you feel. Would you be uh, be up for that? This one lacks trusting of device one uh, using one. Trusting one f a familiar one exists. Familiar one helps this one. No arm, no fear. But truth of device one uh, using one not known. Maybe device using one tries arming, like to that uh, R one. This uh, one stays in pod until device using one gone. Well, he definitely doesn't like her. 
uh, because she literally scanned him without uh, it, without his consent, which is uh, not the best thing to do, to be honest. All right, looks like I'm about ready to head back. Shall we meet again at the lab? Uh, can you tell me what happened between you and Lutra first? Lutra? Oh, the little larva, yes. I took a scan of it, just as I did with you when we first met. Did you have any questions about that? Well, are you aware uh, how much you scared him? Terrified? Wait a minute, it told you that? The larva can talk? That's astonishing. I never, I would, I never would have guessed. That's not the point. What uh, you did to Lutra is very hurtful. Make sure it doesn't happen again. That's amazing, but the problem is that you scared Lutra badly. You shouldn't have. You should have asked first. Yes, it was a re regretful accident. Scanning life forms, including animals, is standard procedure for me in new places. If they appear capable of speech, I will always ask for their permission. In this case, I had no indication the larva could communicate. I'm surprised it was so upset, though. The scanning process should be completely painless. I think Lulu was, uh, yeah, I think he was just frightened because he couldn't move and didn't understand what was happening. Hmm, I suppose that makes sense. I'm sorry this happened, my friend. Perhaps I could develop a quick scanning device that wouldn't require the subject to remain still so long. Until then, I will exercise more care. But for now, I must get back to the lab. See you shortly. Okay, she just teleported back. Just like that. Alright, I'm just gonna I'm gonna tell them really quick. I'm gonna tell Utra that everything is fine. He doesn't have to worry about her. Uh, speaks fast together again. Uh, yeah, tell me what you think. All right, tell me what you think. Uh, the two dollar one. Okay, so I don't have to talk about it. Okay. He just doesn't want to talk about it uh, at all. All right, then. Uh, that's the case. I legit, they're not really giving me anything. They're not giving me a por any portals here, which is kind of a shame. I just need two more, I think. I'm pretty sure. So, uh, I don't have anything else to do here. Let me just head back uh, right here. We're back at the lab, boys. Let's see, let's interact with her and see if the children actually helped her out or not. Good to see you again. Anything you'd like to talk about? Uh, yeah, how did the lab work uh, go? Not so well, I'm afraid. Let me explain. The first task was to compare the samples I found recently to others I've collected. I needed my assistants to view them all under mi uh, mis microscope and note any differences. I explained it all to the, this to Ketri and Isti. They seemed to understand. I went back to my own work and things seemed fine for a while, but then I noticed the twins were getting a bit distracted. Instead of finishing their task, they were tampering with this, uh, equipment that did not have my permission to use. I asked them to stop and at first they listened, but before long they were right back at, me, uh, at it. When I caught them toying with the bunners and ionizers, which can, which can be very dangerous. I had to tell them to leave as they were becoming a risk to themselves and the lab. I ended up doing the rest of the work myself. I was a bit it was a bit of a disaster I told all told. Well, I'm sorry, I guess. That's not what I expected out of them. No need to apologize, it wasn't your fault after all. Oh and thank you for speaking with Kratri and Isti. I appreciate the, the effort. If you want a job done well, nothing beats the doing it yourself, I guess. Uh, no, uh, no problem. Let's see if I can talk to her about something else. So, have you examined your samples from the moss caverns? Uh, yes, I've looked at them, uh, looked at them closely, and I must say the results have changed many of my basic assumptions about the ocean. But first, let me thank you for help, helping me understand Neutra better. I'll be thinking uh, differently about how to approach unfamiliar life forms in the future. See, if I wouldn't have talked to her after that, after the whole Neutra situation, she would have known. She wouldn't have known about that. Uh, I'll be thinking the okay, there we go. Now then, would you like to hear about my findings? Yeah, let, uh, let tell me about it. Excellent, let's start with the basics. All those odd ferns plants growing uh, near Lutra spots are very unusual. I can't stress that enough. That fern cells are more in common with the pod than anything else in the ocean. I suspect the pod somehow created the ferns, possibly via waterborne spores. That makes sense, I guess. There were, these were ferns inside the pod too, but Lutra had to leave because they stopped growing. Yes, exactly. I did see the remains of many well-eaten ferns in the pod. 
So if the pod ferns and even neutra have so little in common with other life in the ocean, my hypothesis is that they all come from somewhere else. Oh, really? What, from the outside? From the, uh, like, the outside world and stuff? Other, another planet, perhaps, another world. Oh, shit. You don't tell me. I don't know how that's possible. I can't think of another explanation. Well, I never considered that. Amazing, isn't it? But if you think that's crazy, wait until you hear what I discovered about Lutra itself. Shall I explain? Yeah, go on. Very good. I think you'll find this quite fascinating. As you know, Lutra is capable of telepathic communication. So far, uh, so far this seems to be a one-way thing. It can speak to us, but it can't read our minds. However, the data I gather suggests the parts of Lutra's brain that granted this power are underdeveloped. De They're likely to grow substantially at some point, and who knows what it'll be capable of then. Well, that's exciting. I agree. I'm, I'm excited to see what happens with this strange creature. Finally, here's the last tidbit, and it's a doozy. Within this body, Lutra has what he calls imaginal cells. These cells will, will one day transform into new body parts as Lutra ta uh, takes a, new, uh, a different form. In, a, in the other words, Lutra is meant to undergo metamorphosis, which isn't too surprising. But it gets sweeter, weirder. These imaginable uh, cells of Lutra seems to be in a constant state of shifting and changing. I have no idea what to make of this. Maybe there are so many different things it could turn into depending on its environment. Well, your guess is as good as mine, my lady. I better probably. Yeah, my guesses are very well informed. It is true. Thank you for listening, my friend. It's a joy sharing these findings with someone else. Anytime. Okay, so yeah, I got everything. Uh, I got everything I needed, boys. We'll talk to you uh, later. So, feeding frenzy, new fable. So we can. We gotta talk to one of these guys? Interesting. So the Moss Cavern has new uh, sh fish, uh, fishes apparently I can talk to. Uh, I, we're gonna head back to the Moss Cavern. Since we've got new fishes that we can talk to and, uh, and whatnot. So we're gonna do that. Uh, plus, uh, we don't have any more missions. We need two more portals. We have none unlocked here and none unlocked here. So uh, none of these three really. So too sure how we're gonna knock it if I don't know what uh, Amar is doing he seems like he's mad a little bit I don't know why is that uh, let me find out really quick oh he's scared actually hey friend did you see what Lutra's up to here in the forest what do you mean up here he, he went he, uh, he went off of his own place I didn't what's going on oh well it's sure it's something Lutra showed up in the kelp forest a little while ago, waiting out about how hungry it was. And it hasn't stopped eating it since it got here. I watched it chew up a, ho a huge patch of kelp all by itself. It's already getting bigger. If it keeps this up, I don't know if the forest can take it. Can take it. What are we going to do if it never stops? Calm down, Amar. I'm sure Lutra isn't going to eat uh, everything. But how do you know that? What if it eats all the kelp and doesn't stop there? We can't just sit around and hope the worst doesn't happen. Okay, okay, have you tried talking to him? About that. I'm too scared. I don't wanna near, uh, I don't wanna be near it when it devour, it's devouring everything in sight. It's silly, I know. But maybe you could go instead? All right, I'll see. Uh, I'll see if you, uh, 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 if Luther wants to talk. Whew, thanks so much, friend. You know you sure are dependable. I really appreciate all the help. Be careful and let me know what happens. Okay, uh, Mars really scared of Lutra right now. Wait, is that supposed to be Lutra? No shot. This is Lutra. You see that scan, boys? No shot, this is Lutra right here. No, oh, okay. This is Lutra, look, oh my god, he's growing fast. Yo, he is really growing big. Yeah, Amar's not wrong. He's growing fast. 
Yo, Lutra, you're going big, buddy. Can you hear me? This one has greatest hunger. Eating must continue. But you need to stop soon. You can't eat the whole forest, okay? How much, uh, how, how much do you think you'll need? This one cannot be certain. Change arrives very soon. Greatest hunger cannot be ignored. Alright, I see, but you'll have nothing left if you eat all the kelp. This one does not plan to eat all plants. Eating will continue until uh, greatest hunger is gone. Okay, I trust you, but please leave as much kelp as you can. Other creatures need the plants too. If you meet, eat most of the kelp, there won't be anything left for them. You know what? I trust you. Thankfulness. Eating will continue until hunger leaves. This one finishes uh, finished sharing thoughts until then. Okay. Alright, let's talk back to Amar, boys. I think... I, I, I trust him to not eat up everything. Because last time I told him to not do stuff, he was mad at me. So I trust him this time to... Uh, to to not uh, to not do anything crazy, you know. And there's literally no fishes here. Look at that, zero zero. He's literally destroying everything here. The the life itself. All right, Amar, I'm gonna talk to you about this. Uh, I think you're gonna be fine. I, you should trust him. Any luck talking to Lutra? Yeah, I was able to talk with it uh, for a bit. How did it go? He said he won't he won't eat all the kelp. It only plan it's only plan uh, planning to eat until it's not hungry anymore. Oh come on, buddy! Lutra's in the middle of some kind of feeding frenzy. You think it's gonna stick to its word? True. I guess we don't know for sure. We'll be lucky if it even needs one us uh, us one tiny patch of kelp out here. What are we gonna do now? Well, do you know Elidia? She studies Lutra in the past, and maybe she could help us out. Yeah, I've met her. I uh, wouldn't, uh, wouldn't you, uh, wouldn't say we're in the best of terms, though. So I'll leave this up to you, friend. But try to hurry, okay? I don't know how much longer the force can hold out. Okay, Amar, can you talk? Could you talk to Lutra while I'm gone? Maybe try and distract it for, uh, from eating any uh, any more kelp. Exactly. I'd really rather not, friend. I think I'm just gonna stay where it's safe, if, uh, if that's okay. Sorry. Don't worry, okay, don't worry about it. Alright, so we've got a brand new situation. We gotta prevent him from uh, eating up everything. Which, to be honest, I don't really care if he eats up everything. I'm fine with that. Uh, I am gonna go talk with, um, with her though. I don't know what's with the children though. With, uh, what's with the children? I can talk to them, so I'm curious actually to see uh, what do they have, uh, why do they want to talk to me exactly and stuff. So uh, let me see real quick what's going on with them. Oh hey there, did you uh, did you need anything? Uh, oh how did things go at the uh, Alidia's lab? Okay, so I guess I'm catching up on them. Well, it was kind of lame. Alidia had us doing a thing where we had to look at so many slides on the microscope. It was a huge pain. We wanted to take a break and try out some other stuff. Yeah, like the burners. But Lydia didn't want us to have fun, I guess. So she told us we had to leave. Sorry, uh, sorry it wasn't any fun. I didn't want to. I didn't know how much uh, about uh, Lydia's plan for you two. That's okay, new friend. We don't blame you, but we wanted to tell you about one other thing, because it's kind of weird. You know about how a leader wanted us to help because she did us some favors before. Well, one reason we kind of didn't want to go back is because of what we saw. Uh, what did you see? Well, we were outside the lab and we saw a Lilia with a fish. Maybe one who lived nearby. Yeah, and like a Lilia had some kind of device. Uh, we couldn't see it too well. But she pointed at the fish and the fish just disappeared. What do you mean it disappeared? And never came back. What? It was really weird. I don't know why she would have done that. I guess maybe it was some kind of experiment, but was that fish really okay with it? And where did it go? Yeah, it's 
It made us pretty upset, new friend. We just thought you should know. I agree, that sounds pretty strange. Uh, thank you for telling me. No problem, you want to talk about something else? No, I'm good. Okay, that's uh, very interesting indeed. I'm about to talk to her about that. Is she is she doing uh, is she going full Thanos on the fishes or something? What's going on here, boys? All right, so I've got plenty of things to ask her. Let me uh, let's talk to her. Got a bunch of stuff. I still haven't figured out. Like, there's nothing I can get. Like I don't see any portals whatsoever I can get from her here. Very interesting, boys. All right, well, for now we'll just continue to talk to her. Look at that. I got below her. She's got like the seas and everything. Okay, let me uh, let me try and figure out what's uh, what's with her right now. Good to see you again. Okay, uh, did you find any connections between the samples and the signals from the deep ocean? As a matter of fact, yes. All my tests suggest the signals and the organic debris came from the same place on the ocean floor. I believe some kind of electromagnetic pulse occurred down there, sending the signals and debris far and wide. My readings also indicate that whatever the source is, it's capable of generating huge amounts of energy. Such a power supply would be indispensable if I could harness it. It might be just enough to be a, uh, a breakthrough I need. But what's your next step? Good question. But in order to give you an answer, I need to explain a few things. You may have a wonder why I'm so driven in my research. There are wondrous things in here in the ocean, yes, but there's more to it than that. Have you ever noticed that our world almost never changes? Think about the kelp forests or the coral reef. These places are exactly as they've always been. No one can remember a time, uh, a time when things were different. And no one ever leaves. I fear we are all trapped here in a sort of endless dream or illusion. If there's a purpose to this place, none of my research has given me any clues so far. I want to learn the truth about the ocean, my friend. I have plans now for an overhaul of this lab that will vastly increase my data gathering capabilities. But the new energy demands will far outstrip what the solar cell can cur currently provide. So what? Uh, what you need? What? Uh, what? So that's why you need this energy. Correct. You might recall that your teleporter is one of my old prototypes. I could modify it to enable transport to the energy source. I know its exact coordinates from tracing the signals during my studies. If you might be willing to help, perhaps you could investigate the source and report back with what you find. It's a, it's a big ask, I know. But will you, uh, with your help, I could get so much done on my equipment upgrades in the meantime. What do you say? Uh, this sounds kind of dangerous. No, I'm, I'm, I'm in. If we can break out of this so-called illusion, boys, I'm in. I'm all about the scientific uh, uh, part of this game. Splendid. I'm so glad to hear it. I will uh, modify your teleporter right away. It'll only take a moment. There. All set. I've outfitted the teleporter with some basic data sensors as well, so we can examine those readings when you get back. Thank you, my friend. I can't wait to hear about your findings. All right. So we can now teleport probably in the deep seas or something, boys. About to find out more. Okay, so we're going to leave it right here. In the next part, we're actually going to interact with uh, Lydia, boys. We're going to interact with uh, Lydia some more. Uh, tell her about uh, the, the problem in the kelp forest and everything. If she can help out with that as well. While I help her out with a scientific project, she helps me out with the kelp forest. With the whole Lutra situation. So let's see if we can do that. Uh, remember to leave a like and subscribe to enjoy the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.